Okay, well, we're in the, the teeth of the summer over here, in August over here in Taiwan. And uh, I don't know if you can hear, but the cicada are making their racket in the background. And uh, we've had a lot of uh, intermittent uh, uh, thunder showers, which is pretty nice when that comes. So we've got, you know, I can see it coming already. We've got sun now, but looks like it's going to be a little bit rainy later. So yeah, today I wanted to work on a project, very, very simple thing. I want to make a, uh, a simple twisting wrench. So I've got this stock here that I'm going to use. This is about, uh, I think this is, well, I know it's 14 millimeters, about 9 sixteenths of an inch uh, length of this. Let's see how long this piece is. This piece is uh, 16 inches long. So uh, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm just going to uh, punch two holes in the center. I've already marked the center of this. And this will be used to twist round stock. You know, traditionally you might, a lot of people will take old pipe wrenches like this and then weld a handle onto it and then use that as a twisting wrench. It's very effective, but this is basically, it's only good for squared edges. You know, it won't hold, the round will just uh, slip inside of the, these jaws here. So, you know, very simply, you've probably seen me using this before, is, you know, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm probably just depress the middle area here a little bit to flatten that and then punch two holes in. You can also drill, just that simple. And then I'll show you how to use that as well. And if you had a piece of flat stock, that'd be perfectly fine for this. And it's probably even better because the pressure, it's going to be twisting like this. So if it's flat, you'll have much more uh, strength you know, in these directions like that. So yeah, let me get to it, see how it turns out. This sort of a simple saddle it can come in very handy. So, and it's just a piece of medium carbon with just a shank welded on to fit in the hardy hole. So this sort of a tool can be used for a variety of different things. So, yeah, something else to think about.
sometimes it's best to just take one more heat. You know, I've got one of those out. And then you can see here that it's a very fine piece of material that I've taken out. So if you were to drill, you would remove much more material. So it just leaves a little bit extra for a little extra strain. So, yeah, I just got to get that one last slug out. I wasn't quite as accurate on that hole. Here on this side of the anvil is just that's just a magnet just it helps to reduce the uh, the ringing so I mean I don't know if you'll be able to hear this I doubt it because the microphones in the other direction well you can't because it's butted up against this but... yeah hard to tell but it, it works that for this tool. So let me uh, put it to use. What I'm going to do too is though, just quickly before I use it, I'll take a file and just ease the edges a little bit. They're not sharp as if I was to drill it, so it's not too bad, but you want to make sure those edges are not very sharp or they'll, they'll dig into your metal. So let me get this uh, cooled off and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the twisting wrench for round. Very, very simple. Here I've got uh, I've got two pieces of 10 millimeter. So I'll uh, I'll demonstrate now just twisting these together. Very simple. Notice here that I'm using a pair of my adjustable rivetless tongs to hold those two pieces. No other tongs that I had would work well for holding those two separate pieces. achieve a yeah, pretty nice twist. I mean, you can take that any way you want then and join two different pieces of round. Hope you've enjoyed.